Welcome to our Thursday night live stream. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted I just to noticed it. a little overlays are coming up wrong. It's supposed to come up with the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and then subscribe, and it was reversed. It'll do as it pleases. Welcome to our live stream. If you're new here, make sure you say hi. We do these live streams every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And I love them. You love them? I was racing home in traffic Yes, because I visited with, with my daughter today and yep. she lives up like about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. But then I got caught in that 5 p.m. traffic. And I had a football game, You're but stuck. fortunately we ended early because we had a running clock with like a score of 50 to nothing. So average, we usually have two and a half to three hours for a game with halftime and everything. And we were out of there in two hours and we started 10 minutes late so That's i was nice. really happy couple little housekeeping things before we even get started we are going to be picking the winner Still for this time. cookbook during this live stream so we're going to give you guys a little bit of time if you haven't done that i'm sure one of our moderators or either chris or miriam or becky can go ahead and post the link for the maria emmerich interview from when we were in omaha we're giving away one of these. This She's is ours. Gonna be, this is our book. I purchased this. It came on Amazon. This. It actually came out on Tuesday. And uh, just some, I don't, we don't even have little kids. We don't have grandkids. But we eat like children. But I'm going to eat everything in this, like Swedish fish, Gummy keto bears. style. Well, I like the, um, the little pigs in a blanket that she has. She also has, this is what really intrigued Whoopie me. Whoopie pies. Well, this is what really intrigued me. Look at this. She even has baby's first Foods. Yeah, but we don't have any babies. I, I'm more interested On the horizon, in not without a miracle. Spaghetti bolognese. So much stuff. Meaty lasagna bowls. Easiest mac and cheese. Fish fingers with tartar sauce. Like I mean, if you're fun. a kid food person, this is the book for you. We don't make any money off of it. No, we just like it. We're not affiliated with it. Nope. But this, is, I'm, I'm not a cookbook person. Like Miriam collects cookbooks. Yes, she does. I'm more of let's go on the internet and find it. I'm so excited that I bought this cookbook because these are all the things that I want to eat. Pizza chicken balls. Balls. So like she knows me. I did put a link for Amazon down below, and it's even on Audible. So uh, if you want to get it, and just not on Audible, on Kindle. So if like, you're like... Have your little Kindle device there instead of having it would the be big hard book. on Audible. That's normally how I want a book because at least I won't ruin the pages. You're right. going to quickly find out what I cook in that thing. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite? It's going to have tomato sauce all over it. Also, very quick, Perfect Keto is having a Labor Day sale. Okay. Link is down below. Not Halloween. If you use that link, it does support the channel. We greatly appreciate it. But when you use that link, you're going to get 20% off if you buy two items, 25% off if you get three items. 30% off if you get four items and 35% off if you get five or more items. And I believe that also includes free shipping. Hopefully you didn't buy every single Nola bar that oh, they have. These are my nemesis right now. Like I, I am limiting myself to one a day at most. This is your one a day vitamin? so good. They're so good. They good. It's a lot better than that garbage that we referred the other day. No I'm, language. I'm, we don't have I'm a trying. beat button here. I don't. So I need you to behave. There is a delay. So, okay. Not that much. Let's get into the comments for tonight. So How's Rachel went doing? up, hung out with Michelle today I for did. her birthday. So we, I actually see that you put the picture I sent you of Jenny. Yes. Our, our, she's got her our own grand pole. puppy. The, our, her, she's a Gordon Will Setter. Will you please stop saying that? She, like, I, I'm I not a so granddad much. yet. She's our, she's And we're not going to use, we're, we're not even using grandma and grandpa. We're using oma and opa. Oma and opa because. When we like, have grandkids. Yeah, because that's what you call your grandparents. Yep. So um, it was just so fun hanging out today. I claim Oma and Opa. And what I love is how Jenny relaxes. And that is all- In the pool. <laughs> I mean, she, but she just, she like relaxes in a way that I can't relax and I love that. And it reminded me of our challenge. So this month's challenge is to live 
like it's your birthday. That's right. Because you're different with yourself. Yep. Like, you know what? I thought, okay, is there's a lot of work that I need to do this week, but it's like, well, my daughter's available. So yeah, I, I'm going to make time. Let's yep. just go. Let me just drive, get in the car. Let's go and just hang yep. out. You know, the same thing for, for what you're eating. I'm going to make sure that I eat something delicious tomorrow and be excited about it. Mm -hmm. Keto stuff because it's my birthday, but we could live like that every day. Well, it's a lot like, you know, if you got an opportunity to see the video that released this morning where we interviewed Kim Howerton, that's yes. one of the things she's talking about, like, we were not designed to live on a diet. I have lived on a diet since I was, was 12 years old, right? Yeah. And she talks about going through periods of just, you know what, if you're not at your goal weight, maybe take a month or two off and just maintain. Just eat keto food. Just so that you're not, on a diet yeah. because otherwise we get diet crazy. We get, and we get, what happens is, is we give up. Oh, I'm just never gonna get there. And it's surprising, like we were sick and just kind of did whatever we want so long as we were eating keto foods. And all of a sudden, we got back to eating regular food, we were weight sleeping. dropped off. Well, we were sleeping. We were sleeping more. We talked about that yesterday. We weren't like actively trying to change our body composition like she yep. talked about. Yeah. I mean, it was when she said, you can get diet fatigue. Yep. Man, that resonated with me. Yeah. I'm like, I've been sick and tired and tired and sick of mm -hmm. like diets. Yep. Like for, for years at this point. And it was interesting. We were previewing that video this morning because we always preview videos because I screw up a lot when I edit. We do. And I was looking at that and I'm like, wow. So Rachel and Kim Howerton are just two weeks apart in we're age. We're the same age. Neither one of them look 45. No, well, thank you. You don't I, even look like you're in your 40s. Maybe you, I just. There's got to be something to this keto thing. I look better because I'm standing next to her because that's the key. <laughs> you just stand next to somebody amazing. I'm just sitting there going, there's got to be something to this keto thing because both of them look like they're in their early 30s. Well, what I would really love to hear from you guys is something that she talked about. She talked about why she thinks that having a community while you're doing this, the keto community is important. And I'd like to know, what do you guys think? Why is having a keto community important? Why can't yeah. you just do this keto lifestyle on your own? What is the importance of that? Well, we have one right here. We, I saw, I paused on this one. I know Jerry, we're not gonna go all the way back to the beginning. So beautiful. But Jerry put a comment up and it says, Focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Focus on character, not your reputation. Focus on your blessings, not your misfortunes. It's from Roy wow. T. Bennett, the light in the heart. That That's why, it. why do we need community? Because we need people like Jerry yes. and, and Shauna giving us motivational quotes to keep us going. Because yeah, sometimes we just can't find them on our own. I can't see the good in me. I, I can't, sometimes it, it is exactly that fatigue. I am tired. You know, I'm growing weary in the fight, right? Yeah. We're supposed to not grow weary yes. in the fight, but I am weary and you just need somebody to hold your arms up and yeah. encourage you. And sometimes it's just that type of thing that Jerry just posted mm -hmm. that gets me back in the game and gets, keeps me going. Yeah. I love it. Speaking of community, Patreon live stream Check on your box. Saturday, on Sunday, Sunday, because I have late games on Saturday. Patreon live stream on Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. So September 5th There's a little at pole. 5. If you go over to Patreon, Rachel's obviously going to have tomorrow's Fearless Friday up. But if you go over to Patreon, we have a poll up there. We're polling. Should this Sunday. <laughs> We're not trolling. Should this Sunday We're be polling. a live stream here on YouTube or should it be a Zoom conference? Zoom conference? Your pick. Uh, Majority hey. rules. You know what? I kind of go back and forth. Which one? I know some people want Zoom. Some Last month live. was live stream. We're trying to get two in the month, but right now it's a little difficult considering it's football vote. season and everything vote else. Vote and so we find out. So you need to out. vote and then we will let you guys know. We're going to run that poll through, what, Sunday afternoon, I guess? Well, yeah. Because, and then, then we will let you guys know Sunday evening. When yeah. I get home from my game, that poll will close and we will make the decision. We, I'm going to, we have so many September birthdays. Like we missed Blaine, like be, like he's oh, yes. just like Tuesday. Yeah. And then, you know, Miriam's and Lynette's is tomorrow. Well, I feel like we need mine. to sing happy birthday to everybody. Can we just say happy birthday, September babies? Sounds and good. And just catch that because there's a lot this week and I don't want to miss anybody. Okay. Nobody. Okay. All right. Ready? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to, to September, September babies. It's September, September babies. Yeah. 
Happy birthday to you and many more. Okay, Sabrina said, hey, I'll also be, I'm so happy hey, you'll be joining in from Charleston State Park in Southern, Southern Indiana. Indiana. Well, welcome, Sabrina. Sabrina, I sent you an email, so you can go ahead and check on that when you get an opportunity. Yeah. Susan said, oh gosh, yeah, I'm struggling from the thunderstorm. Wake up, and there are more coming tonight. It was ominous. Our plans today was to go to the beach with the dogs, mm -hmm. like Jenny and Tabitha together, and it was like the the undercurrent caused by like all of these storms recently there was no chance we'll, yeah. we'll lose the dogs so then we were like well we'll go to this other beach and then it was raining there too so it was like we we wound up going to a park and i really enjoyed myself because it was really fun but you had to just be willing to change your plans like that i Switch spent the day cooking and taking Anthony to get his car repaired and changing his battery and Isn't then having fun? the other issue that happened three weeks ago happen again but we have not eaten dinner yet. We're going to have to eat afterwards because teased, it was like rush, 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 we rush. We teased ourselves a little with some jalapeno, jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. So, something's wrong with We've us. We've got a problem. So, I, Rachel was at, at Walmart yesterday. She goes, do you need anything? And I'm like, we do still have a whole package of bacon. And, and she was like, oh, that sounds good. And I'm like, are you not you're getting not the You're not picking up hint? on it, baby. Are you not getting the hint? What else do I have a package of bacon for? Like a thick slice bacon. Why? Because I want jalapeno about this. Yeah, so love, yeah, yeah we, we have a really good dinner. I can't wait to try. Something we've never had before. Warden said, evening all. Happy birthday hey. to Rachel, Miriam, hey. Lynette, Heath, and everybody else Oh, I September. see. Blaine says it was actually Monday the Monday. 30th. Yes, yes. But we didn't do Keto on the Couch live. No, we did not. We taped it. And I did not know about it until after we filmed Keto on the Couch because it popped up in my Facebook feed on Monday. I know, and Joe was like, crap on a cracker. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that in my life. Maybe that was Chris. He said, Hung uh, Hungry, he said, hey, hey yo. yo, let the shenanigans, shenanigans begin. begin. So we had shenanigans in Keto Omaha, and we were saying that we were going to have tomfoolery mm -hmm. at Keto Palooza, which we're really getting excited. I Just mean, I need to start I need to start packing. Uh, Lisa said, uh, happy birthday to Marie Foy Smith. Smith. She's part of our family Welcome. too. Welcome and happy birthday to you, young lady. He says, what's the deal with the echo? Oh, sorry. I don't know why we're echoing. We shouldn't what? be echoing. What, 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 what? <laughs> We shouldn't be. It's not showing an echo. I mean, we have that little bit of an echo because I still haven't finished this room. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. Look, see what happens when I do something wrong? See what she do does to me? Okay, do you want to She hits me with frying pans. I absolutely do not do that. Can you tell everybody what you actually did? Okay. So I was we were cutting on Wednesday, yeah. right? And there's a customer. I cut this lady's house for like 10 years. Looks like you broke off a unicorn horn. I, I'm, I'm actually very lucky I didn't go into the hospital. So I cut this lady's house for like 10 to 12 years, and then she sold her house to this other person, and then this person just recently sold their house. Do we need this background? Well, yes. Okay. Because it shows I'm very familiar with this property. Which but I makes have it not even worse. I have not cut it in two years. Okay. Okay. So Anthony went over to the person and said, Hey, your grass is really long. Would you like us to cut it? And she's like, Well, you know, I'm glad you asked. I bought a mower, but because of COVID and stuff, everything is behind. And it's delayed, so could you do it? So I'm on my mower, full speed, 12 full miles an hour. And I forgot there's this one tree that's got this branch that kind of loops down and you can't fit underneath. And somehow I thought I had the clearance and I'm going boom. Boom, boom, boom. And literally ran into the branch. Fortunately, I was wearing a hat or this would be a lot. This is through a hat. Hits me here. My head goes backwards. I don't know how I didn't have a concussion. I don't like, know I how I mean, you the did branch either. hit me right here, and it's like this thick. So, but it was fun to make Rachel think. I actually Cam's told home. she's like, "What happened?" I'm like, "You hit me in the middle of the night. Don't you remember?" I feel like she thought she I, did. I feel like Ginny from Harry Potter. Why is he always bleeding? <laughs> why? Why is he always bleeding? <laughs> Uh, turtle power, yes. I love oh, Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Freshy says we look like ketchup and mustard. Oh my gosh, that is so accurate. Sometimes we sit down and I'll be wearing like a blue shirt with red stripes and he'll be like wearing a red shirt with like blue lettering and I'm like, we are not trying to do like the K-drama couple thing. Mm -hmm. And somehow we like couple dress. You know, I've, Chris just put up the link for this cookbook. Thank you. Since you don't know what's for dinner because you weren't home and I haven't what's told you, Where's the I beef? will give you a hint. It's something out of that cookbook. 
Seriously. Yeah, I was excited. You like hit the ground running I, with I it. I was excited. It's kids food. I love kids food. I'm going to get this. I you, Don't tell me. I'm going to flip through it and find your thumbprint. And I'm going to know what the recipe is. Because <laughs> there's a thumbprint in there. Rita said, I watched the Maria Emmerich interview that you had in Omaha. Thanks for watching it and sharing your day with us. We really do thank you for watching our videos. We understand that like if you take the time to watch our shenanigans and tomfoolery, that's a part of your day. That's right. And you're sharing that time with us when you could be doing other things. So thank you for taking the time to watch yeah. our videos. He said, I hit a new non-scale victory today thanks to an emergency bathroom what? trip to Target down to a 44 inch waist. What? Heath, that is I'm excited awesome. that you're down to a 44 inch waist, but I love the way you put it. It's because of the emergency bathroom trip. <laughs> that what, were you in there and like you, you were like, hey, while well, I'm here, let's Just try Just so much comes out. That sounds like a Joe response. <laughs> TMI, Mr. Joe. I know what he's talking about, but I'm I'm trying to not be TMI. Ooh. Uh, Chris said, we just finished eating dinner with the kids. Shrimp scampi and shrimp cocktail. I love me some shrimp scampi, and it is so keto friendly. Yes. It is so buttery is, and delicious. Right. Like, I love it. It's like, you know what? Before keto, one of the worst things you can eat as far as fat and just not good for you was like chicken Alfredo. Oh my gosh, yes. Perfect keto food. Yes, it's right? like so creamy. Perfect keto I love food. cream based sauces, but that was, yes, the one that you would always pass on. So here we go. Live like it's your birthday. We can enjoy these delicious recipes. And that is the daily recipe challenge for this month too. If you have a recipe that you think is birthday table worthy and keto, you need to send me an email with it at rachel at twocrazyketos.com. If we like it, we'll use it in a vlog or make a video and of course give you full credit. In our next vlog, there's actually a subscriber recipe that will be featuring in that there is oh yeah we're giving a is. shout out I forgot about we, and that. it was delicious p.s becky said be sure to hit the like Thanks, button becky. it really helps out the two crazy ketos channel share the conversation with your family and friends yes i was just looking there's 166 people Hi. watching and only 69 likes please well thanks for being go here, guys. hit that like button it's free make sure you go do that oh you're definitely going to want to hit the like button and you're definitely going to want to be subscribed oh, yeah. and you're definitely going to want to make sure you hit that bell button because first of all, tomorrow we're doing the drawing yes. for the Keto, the keto bundles. Child Bundle giveaway. So we have the starter bundle so you can go over. You still have one more night. You have the Elite Bundle and the Premium Bundle. I mean, you're talking well, about... Premium and then Elite. Well, doesn't matter. You're I'm, talking I'm about OCD. a lot of keto chow. I'm CDO. You're talking about That's a bunch of keto chow for free. Go enter. I don't understand why the starter bundle video has like half as many as the elite. Yes, the elite gives you better stuff. But, but better win nothing. You know what? Better win no something to nothing, right. right? So go do that. But we have a very special surprise tomorrow on our channel. We're not going to tell you what and time. And you're only going to find out about it if you've hit that bell button. We're not going to tell you, you when You won't even know. About, if you don't hit the bell button, you won't know what's even happening. So make sure you go hit that bell button there's so, right now. There's so many times that I don't know what's happening. Yes. <laughs> uh, Blaine said, I'm hoping to get some Nola Bars Payday. Yeah. They're like, they are so good. They and taste they, like a payday. They're both good, but this is the best. Yeah. Even Anthony was like, they taste like a payday. They I'm like, really I do. know. Uh, Blue Dust said, we got our Nola Bars from the last sale. They are so good. It in might my, be a problem. I told Rachel, you got to hide them. One you a day. You got to hide them. Like a one yep. a day vitamin. Freshy said, looking forward to seeing Peeps at Keto Palooza. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm like, I'm loading up. I'm getting excited. Chris said, Miriam bought some of the Nola Bars and we split one. That's a good option too, because they are very filling. Because yeah. they are not stingy with the nuts. It is all the nuts. It's nuts. How much nuts? Uh, Keto Crafter says, yeah, I claimed Grammy, but I'm grandma because my granddaughter said so. Well, I come from a long line of nannies. N -A -N -N -Y. Yes. N-A-N-N-Y. Like, that's what I call my grandmother and then my mother. So my mom has claim to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm expecting her to live another, you know, 50, 60 years. Right. I told her she needs to live to 120 and then we'll renegotiate her contract. But like, so yeah, she's got nanny. We're yeah. not confusing future children. So, uh, Oma. Shauna said, does that mean I get to continue from, uh, from living my birthday yes, last Yes, you month? do. I think that every day we need to live 
with at least the grace that we extend to ourselves on our birthday. Because let me tell you, I will look in the mirror and be like, Rachel, you need to get your junk together. But on my birthday, I'm like, you're looking cute. You know, you're just glad to be alive. Thank you, God, that I'm alive and well and I'm breathing in and out. And like, it's another year. Like, well, there's just something magical about that day that you're like, Rachel, whatever you've done that screwed up and like, we, we have no regrets. Well, today. remember, even Dr. Barry, in the interview we did with him in Omaha, said, Birthdays and anniversaries, you get to be silly. So be silly. Be silly on your birthday. You don't have to do something undermining to your meal nope. plan. No. Nope. You can just enjoy your life. Yeah. Like eat an entire batch of Maria Emmerich's uh, hard boiled egg pudding. Like yes. the whole batch. Just eat the whole batch. Where in the actual world, like, have we been? Well, don't say too much. It's in a vlog. It is in a vlog. Yeah. It. Why have we not been eating that? Yeah. <laughs> Debbie said, I'm having the grandkids call me Nuna. Nona. Italian for grandmother. That is beautiful. I love that. <laughs> Lots of happy birthdays. Thank you. Um, Shauna said, I have no children, but have my friend's kids all call me Auntie yes. Shauna. Hint, air frying Auntie. Yeah. I, I, even Miss Rachel, I've had generations now. It's so amazing when you've like served in his ministry for so many years. Like um, that now I have past little kids that I have served come and bring me to hold their their child, mm -hmm. you know, and that's like, I'm a, gra I'm a grandma. Like, that's amazing to me. Yeah. So it's like Miss Rachel has almost become like a grandma name, right? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Debbie said, I cannot buy peanut butter Nola bars. Cannot leave, leave them, them alone, alone when they are in the house. Always good to know yourself. That's right. You know what's what works for you. Yep. Uh, Diane said, we are Pop Pop and Granny. 15, 15 grandkids. grandkids. How amazing and beautiful is that? Oh, I love that so much. Um, Joseph says, wait, Rachel's 45? That's right. I thought she was 110. <laughs> I was mistaken. Yeah, no, 45. I used 45. I feel like the transition from the 20s to the 30s was much more difficult than from the 30s to the 40s. And I didn't feel like you were hating life going from 40s to 50s. It didn't bother me. I do I remember. I remember 29. your 29 30 because that was our first year together. Yeah. And I made her a cake because I was way into baking. And I made her this cake. And then I decorated it because I like learned all the Wilton, you know, the, the little dot dots and mold. He knows weird things. So I had designed this whole cake and put like a dirt patch on one side and then green on the other and said, you know, like the grass is actually greener, greener on, on the, the other, other side. side. Because I was having such a hard time. That was a really hard age for me. It was me. like 29 on one and 30 I on I don't the know other. why I thought that I needed to abandon being like a child when she turned 30, because I'm still like a, a child with a middle well, school age true. sense of humor. So was there an age that was tough for you to change? Right. So like, yeah, I'd like I to really know. I really haven't had one. What was a tough one for you? Blue Dove said, I thought the first grandkid got to christen you with the grandparent title, usually owning to an adorable mispronunciation. A lot of times you don't even name yourself. You wait. And that, that first grandbaby determines what everybody is going to call you. Mm -hmm. Like all of the future grandkids. Okay. We are so far behind. That's all right. Victoria said community is important because we are made for relationships. That is so, so true. We are not supposed to do life alone. Yep. Lisa said, because it's like having a family that cares and has your back. Yeah. Sometimes more than even your the family you grew up with, because we understand one another, at least in this one little realm. Right. Right? right like we right. get it. Uh, Jenna said, because it takes a village. Amen to that. <sighs> Change our name again. Basic Beach. Rachel, your hair looks great today. Thank you, Renee. You are anything but basic. You okay. are awesome. Bob did it's it. Extraordinary. OMG, just made root beer keto chow with a can of creamy root beer zevia. Awesome. You, you have to try that. I've got to try gotta it. You've got to try it. It is so good, especially if you use heavy cream. Well, if Bob said so, then I'm in. Do two to three ounces of heavy fully, cream Joe. and then a can of Zevia, maybe a little bit of water because you want to have it up there in, in the mouth. Look at that handsome face of Bob's. <laughs> I, be, I believe what that's saying to me. Lisa said, three importance for me is friendships with, uh, uh, like with like mine. 
with like minds and oh, interested. Oh, like minds. Okay, thank you. And interested, motivation, and support. I just don't have that in my personal life. I totally get going into a space. I can't even tell you like how many times we would go to like a Christmas party mm -hmm. surrounded by people, look at each other and like be like, well, I guess it's you and me, babe. Because like you feel like you're it. Mm -hmm. Like you're the only person at the potty right. that like gets what you're doing. Right. I was actually just talking to somebody on the phone and they're like, you know, the keto community is not very strong. I'm like, what are you saying? The keto community is very, very strong, strong and tight knit. We're not large because we have lots of people. We small, but we us, mighty. But we're pretty small. We're pretty tight knit. And, you know, I, you look at the, the conferences, right? Yeah. It's just, it's a tight knit community and everybody's got the back. And that's why we always hate seeing the infighting and the keto police. And yes. Like you got to do heart. it my way because we're one community. We have enough people on the outside who are telling you, you need to eat all carbs. I mean, I, something showed up in my Facebook, like in one of those, I can't stand the Instagram feed things now show up in my Facebook. That uh, yeah. annoys me. And this person like things that nutri that people tell me as a nutrition. And it's like, you got to cut out carbs. And I'm like, truth yeah. and she was like she actually her response my response carbs don't make you fat fat doesn't make you fat kind of true so long as you keep them separated she's like but she goes the only thing that makes you fat is eating too many calories and i'm like tell that to the person who gained 80 pounds eating 500 calories a day I, i'm like magical that way but Does, no it's it's good and it does it hurts my heart when you see division because you're like we don't need no friendly fire okay right. we got enough like yeah Let, let's keep the infighting out of the keto community. We don't need it. Laura said having a community on the keto uh, journey helps you to not overthink what That's you are true. doing. Knowing what others are going through, the same thing give you a little peace and grace. That's so true. And it's, you think about, like, what did Kim Howerton say? Like, yeah. you're going to learn from each other. Well, and sometimes when I get into, like, a tracking or, like, diet obsession, there is something that, like, you guys say to me that gets me out. Like, I can get so focused. I'm running myself into a wall. And, like, somebody in our Facebook family group will let me lighten up. <laughs> like, let me stop because without help from somebody else helping me to redirect, I sometimes can't get myself out of like the right. heading to the dead end. Yeah. Everyone's commenting on here. We got to go to the Patreon page to pull. Yeah. So I'm not counting anything is in here. So if nobody goes over there, we do a live stream. But everyone's saying Zoom here. So yeah, all you guys got to go to the poll. That's the number I'm looking at. Go to at. the poll. Got to follow the... I'm an official for a reason. Oh, we got to follow the rules. And I'm like, what everybody wants right now. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. Oh, Rita's birthday is on the 4th. Happy birthday, beautiful Rita. Uh, Jason's birthday is September 21st. I'm glad we did September birthday song yep. because there's a lot of beautiful September Keith birthdays. Keith is on the 29th. Sabrina's husband's birthday was yesterday. Wow. You know what this proves? That, let me make sure. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yes, everybody had a wonderful, our parents had one beautiful Christmas the year before we were born. That's what that means, Christmas. <laughs> Uh, right family said, please pray for our boys tomorrow. They are playing a home game tomorrow. Last week, they played a bunch of Neanderthals. Oh, wow. And so here's the thing. So, you know, coaches generally always hear the bad stuff about their teams, either in reports or kids getting ejected or yes. me. I'm an umpire. So I, on a varsity game, I'm an umpire. I'm in the middle of the field and I'm usually the one who's preventing fights. Right. I'm the one getting there, knock it off before you get a flag or throwing the flag. Break it up. Youth league and JV, I'm the white hat. So now they really hear from me when their kids are screwing up and I go over and I'm like, hey coach, you take them out or I'm taking them out. Which one do you want? That sounds violent. The team that we had today, I've had them two weeks in a row, which is a rare occurrence. We usually don't have varsity teams, the same team, two weeks in a row. I've been officiating this team for 15 years. 15 years. The coach was gone last week because he had COVID. Oh, so bless he his can't, heart. He, he was back this week, um, and he said it was a month battle. Super nice guy. I've known the guy for years. And I went up to him. I'm like, Coach, last week, your team did not have one, not one. Un actually neither team did but not one unsportsmanlike and not one personal foul the entire game and we had the same thing today that reflects leadership so i w actually went over to him the middle of the fourth quarter when we had a water break and i said coach i just want to let you know 
that in all the years I've been officiating you guys, and you're usually pretty good. We usually have a couple of, you know, idiots on the team. Yeah. But this is the most disciplined, most sportsmanlike, most matters. courtesy, most respectful to the official team I have ever seen in football and ever seen from your school. I said the only closest team is your lacrosse team, who I know that coach, and yeah, he won't have that nonsense. Yeah. But I'm like, this, I, and he was like, oh my gosh, nobody's ever told me that. Sometimes we need to hear praise. Yes. Right? Sometimes we need to hear something positive instead of negative. We're, we're quick to make sure that like the Yelp review is like, I don't, I'm dissatisfied with that restaurant service. But right. like sometimes we don't put that Yelp review in that's like, I had a great time. Right. I mean, it was, it was good. Right. Good service, good food. I loved it. Yep. Oh, Blaine said mine was on the 30th. Uh, oh, Rankin Cook had jalapeno poppers tonight. Okay. My kind, my kind of peoples. Kayla is first time to watch an actual Welcome. live stream from Corinth, Corinth or no, Corinth, Corinth, Texas. I'll do the reading for tonight. <laughs> uh, hey, I, okay. He's trying. I'm trying. It's time to up the prescription. It is, uh, it is. Joy said, I don't think I've ever thought about poppers this much. I might break down and buy the ingredients. They're delicious. They're so easy. Just it's get a rid little of the time seeds. consuming. So I cut them in half. Make sure you wear gloves or make sure you don't touch your face. Because you will touch um, your face all of a sudden. I cut them in half. I scoop all the seeds out because the heat is in the seeds. If you scoop all the seeds out, and I just take a spoon and I scoop them out. I have a, a core, core, but I feel like, a, I don't know. I just like just take a spoon and scoop them all out. I get rid of them all and then stuff it with some cream cheese. You can mix the cream cheese with salt if you want. I don't. Um, and then wrap it in bacon. Well, and there's all kinds of varieties. Yep. Like I- um, Heath had one where he did peanut butter. Right, and then also uh, Shelly was saying that, I think it was Renee that recommended actually putting up, like dicing up shrimp and putting it yep. in there and then wrapping it in bacon. And that sounded delicious. Jerry said, I love the comment about community, staying connected and being in community. We are all stronger together. We are way more than a disparate, uh, what disparate is it? Group. Disparate group. Uh, we have become intertwined and we are family now. It, that is why it's so nice to have these live streams. Mm -hmm. Just to see you guys in real time is very, very special to us because you are our family. You really are. Yeah. I mean, people, somebody commented us last week, like, whoa, we've seen the live stream. I'm like, this is like our time to hang out with you. We can't yeah. hang out with you in person every week, but we can at least hang out with you here. And that's why if it's you have precious. any questions, go ahead and ask. We try to see them. Yeah. We can't answer every comment. You can obviously see the comments are just flying by. We try to see as much as we can. If you have something you really want us to answer, go ahead and use the super chat function down below. Uh, lots of people talking. The warden says, I'm still packed from Keto Omaha. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Stay I, well, packed. you saw what Miriam said the other day, right? She like literally took her clothes, put them in the wash, and is packing back up. For Bless their heart. They have been like Gone. a, a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. Yep. Okay, so Oval said, I just made my first batch of Keto Chow chocolate toffee brownies. They smell delicious. I hope they mm. taste good. I'm big. I'm taking it to work tomorrow. I want to taste them before anybody How else. How nice. I think, I mean, chocolate toffee is where it's at. It's just where it's at. They, it makes everything better. Uh, let's see. Shauna said, I purchased two different purple tank tops with some random How keto nice. groups on them. You look really cute in tank tops. Karen said, I've enjoyed all your interviews. We actually have a couple more coming. Rachel, you are a great interviewer. Thanks, Karen. Who would have thought that the retired reporter for the Washington Post would be I, using her reporter skills again? Well, that's, there's a point in your life, like after, you know, I had the kids and stuff that I was thinking like, Man, why did I I work so long? I was I was a reporter for a long time, and I I spent ten years working down here in South Florida, and then well, you work you you wrote in that like ancient thing that doesn't really work. yeah. Well, we I right, my the, goodness. oh the newspaper right the the Ted the Ted Tree version of the news, and I mean I I'm so old that like when when I first started out, you could smoke in the newsroom. <laughs> my editor was actually smoking at his desk. We had the green screens, and there was one paper that I freelance for that we actually had to put in the typeset ourselves. So that made you be concise because you had to actually lay out the words in the metal type, like in, you know, mm -hmm. this is how you're putting out the paper. Yeah. Like you're trying to get a trucker to like honk at you. So yeah, it was, it was wonderful. And that was a wonderful time in, in my life. I've gotten to meet a lot of really cool Patrick players. Ewing. Yeah. I, I've, I've met a lot of different players. I've helped to, to, to I worked with, Sports Illustrated for a while, like helping with 
photography mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's, it's been wild, but I thought, well, this is it. I will yeah. never get to do these types of things again. And so what a privilege. And, and 20 years later, to talk to you're people. You're interviewing people I again. love it. I, I love it. You're very good at it. But, well, I'm always interested in like, you know, the questions that yeah. I think that people would want because it's I'm interested right. and I don't mind asking even if it seems a little bit personal. Mm -hmm. But what I love is look at Kim Howerton. She's a powerhouse. That's she's right. amazing. She's helping others get better. Like she is a fantastic coach, a fantastic chef. Like she's amazing in so many realms. But isn't it nice to just see her be vulnerable and say like, I struggle with this as well. Mm -hmm. And just have her talk about her story. Right. Because that, that shows you why she's so passionate about helping you and what makes a great coach. Right. It's not just like, I know everything and I'm helping you poor person that like doesn't understand how to get into great health. She's like, no, I have walked this mountain just like you have. Right. And I feel like that makes it more better. Yeah. Oh, Chris put up the link for the members Mark Shroom Skippy. Yes. Ooh. Those are the ones that Anthony loves that they're sold out every time he goes. Really? Yes. He's like, they are delicious. And every time we go, they're sold out. I am seeing so many more grab and go keto friendly options like already wrapped jalapenos. Right. Already things on a skewer. You want to do this before yeah. I forget? Because uh -oh, we've already been comes. on for 35 minutes. Here it is. Okay. So the one that you're going to get, so you can touch it. the one that you're going to get is not this one. This is our personal copy that we purchased. We've already licked this one. And you don't want uh, it. You, the one that you're going to get is going to come directly from Maria. She's going to Signed. mail it to you. This one here, no signature. Hers will be a signature. I didn't know she was signing it. She's signing it. Oh, okay. Does she know that? Yeah, she said it. Oh, okay. I I, I don't remember. I just, when, I'm just the when editor. You, when you share the, when you when share, I, when like, I share the address, so you're like, oh, Rachel said you to need to sign it. it. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go on over to, oh, I didn't share that. I got to make that as a cast. Here we go. Studio browser. So there see. we go. Lee Foolin. You ready? Yes. Let's Fetch. See. How many people? Anything, Anything goes. In pick a winner. 223. Ready? All right, here we go. The winner is Peggy, Peggy Ware. Ware. Oh, oh awesome. awesome. Love Maria and the two crazy ketos and, and the, the berries. berries. Congratulations, Peggy. You are not going to be disappointed, girl. So Peggy, here's what you need to do. Make sure you want to write that down and yes. put it into the Facebook group and we can put it on the community yep. channel. Peggy where? Yes. Uh, so Peggy, here's what you need to do. I'm going to actually pull something up for that. Uh, you need to send us an email at joe, joe. at twocrazyketos.com with your name and your shipping information and also your email address that you would like in for any kind of shipping confirmation. And uh, we will send that off to Maria and she will send it directly out to you. Awesome. Okay, let me just pull something up here. What you pulling up? Uh, two crazy ketos. You remember how they spell that, right? I hope so. Okay. Okay. So people keep asking us. Oh, where is the community How to page? get to the community page. Yeah. So we're going to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to go to youtube.com slash two crazy ketos okay and we're gonna do that and you're gonna see this is the home page are we actually showing that to them oh it won't show it it will not oh it won't show it i can't see the live streaming thing so i can't see what's coming up no it won't show it okay. I, I guess it won't let me cast youtube so we're gonna have to go back to that so anyway you're going to go to youtube.com slash two crazy ketos forward slash two crazy ketos and then you're gonna see it says like our little logo and it says home videos playlists community yeah okay and that's how you find the community page also if you hit the bell button and you are subscribed to your It'll channel anytime you. we make a post on the community page it will show up in your feed Usually it's just like a little, it's kind of like a it's Facebook like, feed. Moving? People are voting. So, yeah. So you have those kind of things. You can also go to youtube.com slash two, uh, backslash two crazy ketos backslash community. But that's just go to the two crazy ketos homepage on YouTube. That's the easiest way to find it. Do me a favor and click on the live stream thing just so like, cause that like settles my brain. That settles your brain. Yeah. I need right to see there. that we're still Do you like, see it? I like to see that excellent connection. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So Jessica said, I'm still numb from dental work. Oh no. And uh, 
I didn't think about it, so I'm going to make a warm caramel macchiato Keto nice. chow for dinner. I bite myself all the time, not numb, not chanting it no, today. No, because you could like you could really bite yourself hard. I'm just thinking how like awesome is she actually still has some caramel macchiato because I know it's still sold out. Like well, it's precious to me. I don't have any left. I have like uh, four servings left. And it's interesting. Like Caleb had just. I was talking to him. Like, how did your day go? And he was eating dinner and just bit his tongue is is while he was eating because he is just like you. He he will he will bite his tongue all the time, and he just gets a look on his face like, why why body are you fighting against me? Work together. I'm trying to get food down your face hole and make you happy. Stop fighting it. Let it happen. Chow CEO says on Maria Emmerich's page, it says she's her today's her birthday. And International, and International Bacon, Bacon Day. Day. Well, happy birthday to Maria Emmerich. Yes. I am so glad that woman is alive. Jerry said Nola Bar is almost as good as black, black licorice, licorice keto, keto chow. No. You think it's a little better? No. You think the Nola Bars are a little bit better little than bit black better. licorice? Joseph said, made your super thick yogurt yesterday. That's the same problem. So good. You have to split it up nice. beforehand. What a compliment, Somebody Joseph. recently messaged me and said, how come in one video, after you have cooked it in the Instant Pot, you take it and wrap it and then put it in and then let it sit and then strain it? Because And in back. the new recipe, we don't. Because I learned you don't need to do that. It comes out just as well as if if you go watch the low fat version where we've eliminated the nut milk bags. Nut milk bags. I miss them. Thanks. Well, thank Chris. That's, Chris. That's Chris's fault. You done. Chris Took found my the yogurt. Bags. He found the yogurt strainer. <laughs> so we found here's all you need to do if you want to make yogurt, whether it's the full fat or the low fat version. Yeah. Take your ingredients, dump them in your instant pot, give them a little mix. Press the yogurt button for eight to nine hours. I usually go nine hours. Eight to nine hours. Get so your extra. yogurt strainer as soon as it's done. Or you can let it go longer. I've, I've had that nine hours stop at one in the morning and then I just do it first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's I'm not, not going to hurt it. You're just having your cultures go a little bit longer. Dump it right into your yogurt strainer. Put it in the refrigerator. You don't even have to do that. You can leave it on the counter. She just won't let me. And uh, a few hours later... It, You've got yogurt. Now, I've had one in there straining for two days because I'm too lazy to take it out of the yogurt strainer and put it in a glass bowl. it's not bowl. like it's sitting in the way. It's fine. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. It just gets thicker and thicker the more you strain out the way. Which we love. Some people don't. Yep. Some people are used to like... They want regular yogurt. Regular just yogurt. Just don't strain it just as much. Just don't strain it as much. But like we, or at all. We want it to be like sour cream. Like yeah. we want it to be thick. Like, yeah. it could, like it could take, you know, it could hold its own in a fight. We did yeah, have yeah. somebody commenting on that saying like, you have no idea, like that is not a low fat or that is not a low carb yogurt. And I'm like, it is. It is. And they're like, show me the proof that you're r r losing sugar show when me you make money. when you make yogurt. Like, what? how do you know cultures eat sugar? I'm like, because that's how it works. Like that's life, that's science. <laughs> And I'll go look up liquid whey and you will see how many carbs are in a cup of liquid whey, which like, is 12. And you'll be like, no way. So if you take out the whey, you're losing 12 carbs for every cup you and lose. And you're making your chickens and cats and dogs very happy because I'm they I'm sorry, I don't have the money to send it off whey. to a company to tell us how they many calories They love the whey. The chickens go to town on it. <laughs> oh, is that Beth? Scroll up. Is that beautiful, Beth? Yes, Hello. it is. Well, She's here to say you. happy birthday. She sent me a text message earlier. She's got four kiddos. Mm -hmm. And she says, I don't believe what's happening right now. I have three kiddos heading off to work today. Oh, like wow. It's like, you know, it, they're growing up, right? Yep. What happened? Be Yesterday, they were their babies. Becky said 30s to 40s was hard for the first month. Yeah. She just turned 40, yep. like, in August. And it is. It was. It's challenging. Shauna said, Rachel, I was watching old, old YouTube. I love your dark hair then, but somehow this current and natural is beautiful and you glow. Thank I you. love this color. I appreciate I that. I absolutely love the color. I love the silver. She looks really good. It does not make her look old. You know what is good for the keto community? And this is not even a keto thing, but the keto community, you guys have given me the courage to go gray. I did not have the courage. Since 17, I was I had gray hair. And I wasn't able to come out of it until you guys said, it's okay, it's safe. And I trust you. I trust that it's safe. That you gave me the safe space to come out and do it. And I'm really enjoying just like the freedom, I'm, even for nothing else that I just don't have to think about it. Yeah. It's just like hair is hair. I don't have to worry about like, oh Lord, I what's think it going looks on amazing up there? Now. 
Chris said, I watched a Holderness family video about them. how are you, I'm fine, but I'm not fine. She recommended saying what's good instead. I've, I've started, started doing that. I yeah. like that. I like that. That's really how good. How are you instead of what's good? What's good? He said the India call center dude was kind of confused when I asked that today. So I, good. she got upset with me the other day. I took a page from my good friend Steve's book the other day. Steve I got from Keto Chomps. Yep. I got one of those text messages of, we'd like to buy your house. Please text message me back if you're interested. So usually I'm like, please don't ever contact me again. I took a page from Steve's book and I text messages the guy. I am absolutely interested. The starting price is $750,000. Now we have a $300,000 house. We're sitting in the hot tub and Rachel's like, what if he says yes? And I'm like, then we will sell our house tomorrow. <laughs> then the Beverly Hillbillies. Because if I could make a $500,000 profit in six years, have at it. I'm sure I will find a house. We'll move to Texas. We can oh live down the street Lord. from Heath and Shelley. I know. We can move all the kids with that kind of profit. I was going to say, like, that that is accurate. But, like, he now he's just smart-mouthing the, 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 the robots that I are sending not, us messages. I have not gotten one text. I usually get three of those a day. I have not gotten one since I sent him that text message four days ago. Wow. Maybe it's going to work. He knows where you stand. <laughs> a one million dollars, right? You're gonna be like, you know, from Austin Powers. He said I had a mama, a mums, a granny bow, and a grandmother, who is my great grandmother. Oh. Renee says that 30, scroll up. Me and her, I think, have the same thing. 30 was the toughest for me. Yeah. 30 was the toughest for me. Chris said the first grandbaby will likely name me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, great. Now I'm saddled with bleh, as like my name. Susan said 40 was hard because it was the year my son moved out of the house oh. and onto Oh college. my gosh. I can't. It's so like, I, I, I'm like, goodbye. And then also hanging on to them. So it's just, it's like, you go from being a helicopter mom till they go off to college. That That is not an easy transition. Like seriously. Sabrina said 29 was the worst for me. I'm glad I'm not alone. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. Said you guys were such a cute couple. Thanks, Lisa. You're cute. The other Lisa said I'm having a hard time keeping up with the chat. I'm crocheting again, making Ooh. a shawl for me for Palooza if I can finish it in time. Oh, my gracious. I, that's another. Okay, so Lisa, and we talk about all the time that she's amazing photographing mm. her, her meals. I want to hire her, but she doesn't live here. Well, here's the thing. When I see that, I am reminded instantly I am not living deprived, but I have access to beautiful whole food that is it, that it, it's it's gorgeous and it's enjoyable. And so sometimes if I'm having a pity party for one for whatever reason, when I see Lisa's picture, I need that community. I need Lisa. I need to see her every day when she says something like, "Here's what I'm eating." It clicks me out of my pity party and be like, "There is a lot to be thankful for. There is a lot for you to celebrate, Rachel." You know, stop that pity party right now. So mm -hmm. like, I need community. That's yeah. a I mean, every day she reminds me uh, Teresa said, random fact, there are more people born in September than any other month. Christmas. Yes. I'm a September baby too. I turned the big 65 today. Wow. So I'm officially an old lady. You, now. Are, no, not you are not even remotely. You are not even old started. enough to get social security yet. Have they changed the age? I believe of it's 70 Jesus. now. Well, I thought it was funny. Like the male is confused at our house. We get our AARP and Similac. <laughs> we got that together. I'm like, are we having a baby or like retiring i thought it was a fun fact when chris said the other day that like 50 percent of the country actually lives in the eastern time zone like i found that fascinating. we plan that i found that fascinating it's all florida's why. fault oh you know i did want to mention so we got a few comments on the garbage product that we reviewed the other day because i can't say the right word because i can't bleep i don't I do have i do have something over here no. maybe we should make one of these a bleep nope why not? Because we're not going to get in the we're not going to get in the habit of talking naughty. But, yeah, but can we bleep it without actually no. talking? What if we just bleep but don't say the word? I feel like your mind is going to go somewhere, and it's just not good to meditate okay, on. That's good. So anyway, on that garbage product, a lot of people were talking about like what's wrong with maltitol? Doesn't increase glucose. It does. It just does it at a slower pace, which is why they can market it to diabetics. Right. So if you look up everything about maltitol, first of all, maltitol is a 35 in the glycemic index, which makes it even worse than xylitol, which is only 13. That's why xylitol isn't the greatest sugar alcohol because it will have an impact on your insulin. 
xylitol, rather, uh, maltitol is 35. But what makes maltitol interesting, aside from the fact that you're gonna have the poops after you eat a bunch of it, um, it impacts your glucose at a slower rate. So you don't get that drastic, like sugar, like hit it, and then you, your glucose goes up. So you're up. gonna check it in it 30 minutes. It goes up like this. And be like, well, it didn't spike and me. And so diet, some diabetics can handle that. It's not a healthy sugar alcohol. Please stick to things like erythritol or allulose or stevia or you know monk fruit or you know even sucralose. Even though I know it's an artificial sweetener, it is made from sugar, by the way. Yeah. And there's nothing as good. If you want the closest thing to sugar taste, it's sugar. Liquid sucralose. Do not buy Splenda. That's crap too because it's got dextrose, maltodextrin in it. Use the liquid. Two drops. Okay, I always do Maria Emmerich's pudding today with liquid sucralose instead of swerve. Ready for this? It's eight drops is equal to a half a cup of sugar. Eight drops, eight drops. is a half a cup of sugar. And I bet it cut the carbs down. It, it cuts it to zero. Cut to the zero total carbs. From the, for changing out that for the swerve. Yeah, well, there's four carbs in a teaspoon. Uh, there's four carbs in a teaspoon of swerve. Okay. And there's what, three tablespoons to a tablespoon. This and is what is it, math. like four tablespoons to a quarter of a cup? So figure all of that out. Four times three is 12, you know, times another four, you're looking at like 60 total carbs in a quarter of a cup. Wow. So yeah, it can it add up really quick. I mean, again, some sugar alcohols, your body's not gonna digest at all, but why not just go with zero Take it out carbs? altogether. Yeah, so anyway. Long Please story digress. short, Too that's late. what's wrong with maltitol is it will increase your glucose, but just over a longer period of time. Uh, oh, Right Family says Ibotta has a Zevia coupon. Ooh. Margaret said, all my keto support is online. I, no one I know in my community is interested in keto. I Guess totally what? We're that. the same way. Yeah. We, I think there's two people in church who do keto, but their subscribers a, is yeah. the only way we there's even know families. that they do it. There's a couple families, but uh, honestly, like that was a good motivator for our channel too, that like we would share it and maybe because people are like, what happened? You know, when you lose that much weight, people are just going to ask you right. what's going on right now. Um, and so when you, when you tell them sometimes they have a look on their face like oh that doesn't sound good and like we we were afraid of the face right we were afraid or they would say like you'd spend 45 minutes sharing your story and they'd be like well i could never do that right. and they're like well i just spent 45 well minutes that's what i'm saying i know that so there's you can a few point them to our videos yeah is what helps there's a few families you know i know of two or three in church that are keto but the only reason we know is because we have a channel because a lot of people are afraid to share because they don't yes. want that look. Right. So look. that's why the community is so important. It's a weird look. Phil said, this is my 34th anniversary weekend, thick prime ribbon king crab. Wow. How is that for silly? Love my keto life. Well, no, that is awesome. And happy anniversary to you. Yep. Uh, Defense Wiz says the problem is the keto communities are so divided on their approaches based on whichever group you choose to follow. So the infighting just happens. Not saying it's right, just saying it happens. It sure yeah. does. Ooh, I'm going to Sprouts tomorrow. Ooh. Bogo six packs at Zevia at Sprouts. It's a schlep for us because it's, like it's like clear across minutes. town. Well, it's it's all local roads. It's no highway or anything like that. Yeah. It's all stoplights. <laughs> all of it. The whole way through. And somehow we time it to hit every red light there is. Uh, Kayla said, this is my 12th year anniversary this Sunday. Wow. Happy birthday, Rachel. Well, happy anniversary to you. <laughs> Lisa said, October babies are just as special. We're just as special. I might be biased because of my birthday. Carla said, we just had our 35th wedding anniversary, Ooh. but I spend it alone. I need groups, but lately I've not been online at much. Wow. Uh, people are asking where the poll is. It's on the 2KK Patreon page. It'll show up as a post. Susan said, I'll be flying to Keto Palooza on my birthday, the 16th. Very excited to celebrate with everyone, my keto family. Wow, I love that. Well, okay, scroll up a little bit. So your, her birthday's almost coming. That's exciting. One more. I saw Amy said, I'm going to make Rachel's Keto Chow chocolate toffee cheesecake this weekend for, for her birthday. Thank you. Because that is so stinking good. That recipe is on our, it's on our, our website. website. It's also it on the Keto Chow website. Good. I believe that's an award-winning recipe. Award-winning. Award-winning. My mama says it's the best, <laughs> if that means anything. Uh, our ranking cook is trying to get Chris going. Wants to know what is the difference between a, so a sofa and a couch? What was did, what was the, the Davenport? 
That, there's another one. What's no. a sofa, a couch, and a He was talking on the live stream today that, so when you go, think about when you go to like a psychiatrist's office, you have the thing where it's just like this. Uh-huh. No arms. That's Is it a act- chase lounge? No, that's a sofa. Really? Yes. I or no, that that's a, a couch. That's is that a, a fainting couch? That's it. Like, we do not have technically a couch in this house. Oh, my gosh. Well, we've been sitting on in error. You've been sitting on a sofa. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, wow. he was talking about it on a live stream. That my thing whole that you see with no, 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 with no arms, just like where it looks like a chase lounge, that is a couch. Is the thing that I set my glass on even a table? <laughs> Am I wrong about that too? What is that? Joy wants to know how do we cook them. If you're talking about our jalapeno poppers, air fryer. we do 380 degrees for 26 minutes in the air fryer. Since we only make uh, four to six at a time, the air fryer is perfect for us. If yeah. I made more, I would eat more. We would eat all of them. Yes. All of the things. Uh, Chris said, when we were in Omaha, I totally squirted myself in the eye when I was cutting jalapenos. And then, I have done that several and, times. Now he cuts out, you cut out all the seeds. It's not spicy going down, but still just the residual touch. Sometimes like, because I, I eat my jalapeno poppers, like I eat everything. I deconstruct it so i will eat the bacon first then i like eat the cream cheese and then i finish with the pepper and so what's I, wrong with you I, a lot of things ask i mean ask anyone lots of stuff is wrong with me that is not the proper way so to eat like, a jalapeno popper. i will forget and be like all right and then i'm like oh my whole night just got ruined because I just touched my face. Oh, and Chris yeah. just put up a recipe, uh, the link for that recipe. Oh, thanks, Chris. Renee said, oh, no, I don't dice my shrimp. I like hunks, hunks of, of shrimp, shrimp over goat cheese in my popper. Right. Okay. So, like, but that's a good add-on that and you wouldn't really normally good. think about. But you can add shrimp. Absolutely. Melissa said, you were right about not getting on Yelp to make positive comments. I on, I always mean to, but often I forget. So I want to go to, I don't want to go on a negative post. I make sure I make a positive one. That too. is such a blessing. It's one of the reasons I don't put a lot of stock in like product reviews. Like when you go to like, you know, Best Buy or something like that. I read them, but I'm, I want to see like with all the negative ones, is there something common? Yeah. If every review is like, Hey, it's like dirty, when you were looking for the refrigerator, you know, there's 500 reviews saying the ice maker freezes over every other month. I'm like, okay, yeah. that's an issue. I don't really pay too much attention to how many stars, like, because a lot of people just don't go give positive reviews. Right. We actually watched, I don't remember that you, there's one really funny YouTuber and he did a whole thing about Yelp reviews on national parks. You and there was like that. somebody gave the Grand Canyon a one Man, star review. Not impressed. And they're like, not impressed, it's a big hole. <laughs> What? Like you Did have you just to... give God a, a negative Yelp review, basically? Like right. this mountain isn't so mountainy. There was another one, a one star review at Yellowstone going too many bears. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Have you covered yourself with food? Did you not know you're going to Yellowstone Park? Isn't that right? Where, there's bears. Isn't Yogi Bear living <laughs> there? Like, isn't L- like if I remember right, Yellowstone Park doesn't even allow tents or pop up. Lived campers. in Jellystone, I think. Yes, Jellystone. So yeah, like I don't put too much stock in reviews because you have to like go look. If you're looking at reviews saying should I buy something, just look for a commonality in what the negatives are. Mount Everest. Not not impressive in real. Not life. big enough. Nat Geo lied to me. <laughs> Karen said I was watching on my TV streaming today. I pulled you up on my laptop so I could like subscribe and ring the bell. Yay! Also my first ever live stream. Welcome. Uh, Matreya said I see there are a couple local yarn shops. Maybe we might accidentally wind up stopping by. How there. nice! I I am like obsessed with yarn to the point where it's like coming out of our ears. And Joe's like, stop now. We have every color, but like especially the ones that are multicolored where like as I'm making like a, a hat it, it it just comes like rainbow and colorful mm-hmm. he's like oh you, we've got enough and I'm like no but one more one more yarn Chris said speaking we see what you started speaking Sorry. of typesetting the documentary about linotype is online for free how nice I would totally watch that I know you I would. lived it 
Matreya said, I love goat cheese and jalapeno poppers. Oh, for breakfast tomorrow, I uh, cause because I make a couple of mini poppers using, using Serrano's. Serrano peppers. Yeah, so hot ones. here's a little hint too. If you don't have any cream cheese, you could actually use our yogurt. Yes, it will it work will really work. well. But I want to use the goat cheese. We need to get some goat cheese because I love goat cheese. And I know that it's not for everybody. I bought sheep smoked cheese at BJ's. Sometimes that tastes a little gamey to no, me. No, no. I tasted it. And even Anthony was like, it's really, it was like from the deli section. It wasn't like a hunk. It was like sliced like to put on your sandwiches. I'm willing to try it. Uh, Chad said, thanks to everybody in the 2KK family for all the support I got from sharing my A1C and my doctor take me off of statin last, last week. week. Congratulations. That's amazing. Congratulations to Peg. Oh you my guys gosh, are so we are awesome. so behind. I just love, look at that. You guys are like cheering her. Yep. I love that. Jerry said, the power of community, personal story, hitting a stall and feeling like I've messed up my keto journey, knowing that others also have dealt with the same issues helped me to not give up. That is, it's so true for me too. Like Jerry, you're just echoing what has been going on in my own heart. Rankin Cook said, my brother got his premium box. Uh, they like it, and he placed an order. Wow. We have been doing keto together for a couple of years. How, that is so a, awesome. What an awesome thing to share with your sibling. I love that. That is so precious. Uh, oh, and Shauna just ordered some more caramel macchiato. I love when you guys love our flavor. Thank you. Uh... Matreya said, how do you not stockpile all the caramel macchiato? I bought two big bags from Keto Chop, plus traded the big bag of cookies and cream for a third with a local friend. Who is trading? I love you. I want the name of the person who is trading away caramel macchiato. <laughs> are, you, are you coming for that? I'm coming for that. Okay. You just eat it a lot. I'm just so thankful Matreya likes it. I know. It makes it, it more special. It is really, really good. I, I, I do say it's I saw good. her. In Keto Savage's live stream yes. yesterday. I was like, hey, Matreya. But I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, you didn't know that. If, if you want some good interaction, oh. Robert and Crystal actually live stream every Wednesday. Live they call five. it Live at Five. So it's five, It's but it's five their time. So it's six o'clock It's on Eastern Live Savage. Time. It's on Robert's you know, YouTube channel. It's called Live Savage. And there's not a lot of people in there. So if you no. have questions about You'll get an reverse answer. dieting, about keto bricks, just about being keto, about hormones for Crystal, head on over there. I think next week we should all flood it. Let's show up with like a yeah, hundred people show up on their live there. stream. Well, and I saw Matre in there. I was totally like, like, hey, Matre, what's up? But I was like, they 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 only have a few comments to read, and I thought he's gonna come up like, who, like, who are you? Like, Rachel, are you talking to somebody in right. here? Like, I'm trying to have a live stream here. So yeah. Chris said, "Ooh, I've done ruined Rachel's nut." You done ruined my nut milk bags, Chris. Uh, Joy said, I love the low fat yogurt recipe. It comes out so thick. It's like ricotta cheese. And I love. And the full fat does the same thing. I love ricotta cheese. But like if you don't make all of the lasagnas at once and use that entire container of ricotta, it's like an avocado. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's gone. It's done. It's it's turned rancid. Like before you're, you're ready for it to happen. And meanwhile, I get about two weeks out of a batch of yogurt before I start seeing any kind of mold or mildew. But ricotta's right like, nope, sorry, we're done. Yeah. <sighs> Chris, if I set my Instapot at 24 hours and stop it whenever I when get around to it. When I get around, around to, to it. it. It's a good idea. I'll see you when I see you. Lots of happy birthdays. Blue Dove said, do you guys lose a brownie recipe to your cold? Seemed like it when it was implied there were more than two recipes in brownie. Uh, yes, we didn't it, it make was, the box one. It was supposed to be a review of a boxed one. Yes. And yes, we, 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 did, we didn't do that one. Blue Dove, thank you. For thank you for reminding me because I forgot and, about it. And reminding us of that. We got to make it. So we can Miriam said, Joe, brownies. tell me you didn't. You tell, Don't tell me you did that. I can't. What What did I do? It was so long ago. What did I do? Haha, that's Rachel's pet name for Beth. Oh, Smiley. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what I did. What did I do? <laughs> You did. You're in. You're in trouble. Did you request peanut butter and jelly keto chow again? Oh, oh, the seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I absolutely did it. And she sat in the hot tub yelling at me for like, I can't believe you just did that. I'm like, why? She's like, because what if he says yes? I'm like, then I'm selling the house. It's just like I. Told I told her mom that yesterday. Her mom's like, I absolutely agree with you. It's exactly like I told. Like we were like Nisha and I were talking, and like behind every great man is is a wife that's rolling her eyes and like yes. 
It's like, what are you doing, young man? Matreya said $750,000, that's it. Tell him if you're taking bids and uh, for $100, you'll put them on the oh, bid that's list. Good. You don't want to miss out. This, this is, is the one, one hot property. I figured, Brilliant. I figured $250,000 over the going price in this neighborhood, which that in itself is ridiculous, was like going to get him to never contact me again. Yeah. <laughs> And again, if he does, I will sell the house. Blaine said turning 50 was harder than being 50. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. What a good thing to say, though, because like, yeah, you're afraid of it. But like living it was fine. Denise is here. Hey, Denise. Same thing happened with me. I said oh, 500,000 thought wouldn't uh, hear from him. The idiot called me the next day. Mine is a 1979 double wide. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, if you're willing to pay for it, I'm willing to cash the check. OK. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I, hey, I, Miriam, blame Steve. You guys, you keep putting Steve and I in the same room. It's a dangerous thing. It's really, I think he's was, coming to Keto Palooza. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can't. We've got so much fun. I've got a fun thing. Steve and I, we're going to do something on our vlog in Keto Palooza. It is going to be so awesome. The only thing worse Can than Can I locking, go sit with someone else? The only Will thing worse than me? locking Steve and I in the same room is putting me, Steve, and Chris in the same room and it's then deep. lock the door. They, they're, they're, they're like, it, it's like, it's like three doofenshmirtzes <laughs> from Phineas and Ferb being like, I've got a plan. Chris is the one who's got to have the keys ready to run to the hospital for us. Right. He's the, he, thankfully he's like pretty level headed about these things. Melissa said, my sister had a breakdown when I turned 29 because I was almost 30 and she was two years younger than me. So in two, two years she would be almost it's 30. It's like, hello, I'm in the midst of this, but it's like, no, you're, t I'm taking your freak out and I'm going to make your freak out my freak out. <laughs> Lisa said, thanks, Rachel. I just enjoy cooking, trying something new, and trying to make pretty You plates. really do a great I job. I watch too many cooking shows. No. I mean, they need to be watching you, is my opinion. <laughs> they here need to be here comes you. the nerd. Chris said, in terms of total population, the Eastern Time Zone has 47.6%. Central Time Zone has 29.1%. Mountain has 67 And Pacific has 166 Like, I never would have guessed that Pacific Time Zone has less than Central Time Zone. Me neither. No, I would I would have thought it would have been Eastern, then Pacific, then Central. If you were taking the geography test today, you would have failed. And so would I. We just would have. Melissa, the Melissa said the late 30s have been the hardest for me. I'm dreading 40. Oh, you it got this, girl. It's really just hard because time is running out for certain things. I don't actually feel old except for the bad name. You're not. You're young and beautiful. And it, it's safe over here. I've gone ahead and gone five years into this now. And like, you you got this. Like, come on over to this side. Yep. We, we've got keto brownies. Renee said, who cares what's in those bleep? Why introduce junk that's going to be so triggering that we work so hard to get away from and make better choices? Just don't Thanks, do Renee. it. Thanks, Renee. Yeah. Love I mean, and girl. that's and that was our thing is that when we saw that, we're like somebody, especially new people. And, and that's, you got to understand, we started doing product reviews because we got duped. Yeah. We, we bought, we, you know, we finally said we're going to bite the bullet and we're going to get rid of the trans fats. We're going to get rid of the canola oil. We were following Dr. Barry and Dr. Barry's like, this stuff is garbage and causes just as many problems as sugar. It's not a keto issue. It's a health issue. So we yeah. said, okay, we're going to spend the double the price. We're going to buy the avocado oil and the, and the, I think it was uh, a, a, a uh, olive oil mayonnaise that, they were in the store. They were double the price of buying regular Kraft Mayo. And we got it home. And we we're like, oh, this is pretty good. And about three days later, I just happened to turn it over because we weren't into reading labels at the time. Yeah. And I'm like, crap. Yeah. Right? Like. Very upset. First ingredient, canola oil. Well, because, you know, a lot of times you're you're spending your hard-earned money to get something better. Like, you're trying. You're trying to do better. Like, when you reach for a zero-sugar Reese's, it's because you're trying to do better. In your mm. mind, you're thinking, this is better. And we got a message yesterday that I was like, wow, this put everything in perspective. It really caused Joe and I to really have an emotional response because we were just so thankful and grateful for the opportunity to do that review because someone messaged us and said, you just stopped me from handing this, getting it in hand it to my type one diabetic grandchild. And I thought, this is why I got up this morning. Because mm -hmm. like, if we can help stop that and like, think about that, like the grandmother wants to do the best. 
She's trying to hand something better. She loves her, her grandchild. And just think about like, just the, even the, the gastric distress alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to hurt. You don't want to have them having gas and bloating and feeling terrible from doing that. So just the thought of like stopping someone in that situation. I can see us a so parent much. because I can see this being something yes, that we would have trying. done. I could see a parent come Halloween, let their kid go trick or treating. Yep. And then at the end of the day, say, give me all that candy. We're going to throw that in the garbage. And then here is as bag. much of this as you want. You can eat, eat it all. Bag. Not knowing that when they eat that entire bag of garbage, they're going to end up in the bathroom and then wake up in the morning going, why does sick. my stomach hurt? Yeah. And right? like the cramping and stuff. And you just... As a mama's heart, like, I remember... And one, there's good options out there. I remember, like, covering Caleb with a hat and, like, a, a swim shirt and swim pants because I was trying to avoid him getting sunburnt, and I missed a little area right here. He, he, he rolled up his sleeve, and this area was exposed, and he got a terrible blister, and he would put it to me like, Mommy, ow. And I was broken because I was like, I am trying to do everything that I can can to, to help him be successful and not get hurt. And the thought of me not like fixing this and, right. and him getting hurt, it, it, it destroys you. Yeah. And the bottom line is when it comes to peanut butter cups, there's much better options out there. Yeah. Much better options. Go get Lily's. Go get uh, Chalk Zero. Go get, if you don't need it really sweet, go get keto cups. I love keto cups. The only problem with the keto cups is like at 75 to 76 degrees, they start melting because it's all coconut oil. Rush them home. So uh, Mike said, I learned the name of another sweetener to avoid called uh, lysin. Lysin? Lysin? Like, lysin. I don't know. Like Sugar has like a hundred names. It really, it really does. does. You Cause, really. Because they're a business yeah. and they're trying to be like, okay, you don't like this name. We're going to give it another. And then it's just like, we've had that in a scrolling in in videos in the past like here are the names of sugar and it was just like it felt like it went on forever the better thing is learn the names of the very few sweeteners that you can have and if you don't know the name of something don't eat it right like one of the things in there i don't even remember it was like a four letter initial and someone said maria emmerich has talked about that before it's like what they line the cereal box with to stop the moisture from coming in and it's carcinogenic that's what I want to put in my body. Defense Wiz said 40 was the toughest because I was then able to compete in master's level for beach tournaments. Wow. And I I got the actual invite to play in one in Hawaii. Now that you're old, come play. That was just a jolt to reality. Wow, though. Defense Wiz, just to be that good at something. That is incredible to be at like, to, to have ha had that experience. Yeah. Uh, Rankin Cook said, I was okay with turning 65 this month because my insurance cost dropped by $600 more money to spend on camping. I like that idea. <laughs> That's a good investment. Uh, Rankin Cook said, we have a couple coming over on Saturday morning for salted caramel frappuccinos. Nice. We love using salted caramel keto chat to make these. How fun. And then you're sharing it with a friend. I mm -hmm. love that. Uh, Chris has got my pie recipe. Thanks for that. Uh, Defense Wiz says, my goal is to be the oldest winner on one of the beach tours I compete on. My final tournament is in a couple weeks in Siesta Keys, East Coast National. Well, good luck in that. You're going to win. You're going to do this. Right, family said, are you going to cha uh, change it to keto on the sofa? We, we need no. to. We no. probably should. Keto well, on the Davenport. Even, we don't even sit on that anymore. Keto on the Davenport. <laughs> I like that. That's got a good ring to it. Shell said, I use Instacart for Sprouts because it's across town and I don't want to drive 30 minutes to get it. I also use Amazon for Whole Foods for the same reason. That is very smart. Our Amazon, like, I, Caleb's been using my 55-gallon garbage bags that I use for work for, like, leaves and stuff like that. And he's been using them in the house for our garbage kids. He, I mean, he's like, oh, we don't have any more garbage bags. 7 o'clock this morning. Go to Amazon. 30-gallon garbage bags because we have 25-gallon cans in the house. Four boxes sitting right there delivered three hours later. It's like, Amazon, I'm thinking of a number between right? one and 10. I mean, I can love you, that. Can you deliver that number like in an instant? Yeah. I am not an Instacart fan though, because every time I've ordered from Instacart, <laughs> they replace, it with, they replace it with something that's nowhere near. Like I actually did an Instacart at Sprouts yeah. for a pickup. Right. I wasn't even like delivered to me. And it was for Zevia and I wanted root beer Zevia. And I get there and I'm and, and now they you've paid for it. I didn't even realize it was Instacart for store pickup. And I'm looking through the bag and I'm like, this isn't my order. And I'm like, what is it? And she's got like Uncle Buck's 
sugared root beer. Close enough. Now I ordered a 10 pack and you're giving me a four pack. She's like, I substituted. You just I'm want like, how is root that beer, a substitute? Right? You went from a 10 pack to a four pack. You went from a zero sugar sweetened with stevia to full sugar. That's not like a substitute. Look, fancy pants root beer guy. You get what you get. You don't get upset. Oh, he said, I used to soak the peppers in Sprite for my heat adverse gas or sometimes use sweet pepper. Well, that is smart. I've, ser I've heard of people use poblanos too, which I'm yeah. not opposed to because those are bigger. They're bigger. I like bigger. Bigger is better. Susie said, proper eating is to deconstruct. Look at how kids naturally know. Thank you, Susie. You have my back. Thank you, yes. Because Joe's like, you are a weirdo. And I'm going to just eat it. Like, I'm just going to take it apart. Rand Can Cook said, I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't, I don't know, know why. why. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's my humor. That's it. Um, I'm, I'm basically like, I like middle school humor and dad jokes. Let's see. Mike said, before keto, I would always do a batch of lasagna and a batch of cannoli for this to reason. To use up the ricotta. Just to use up ricotta. You have to. Well, we actually started making ricotta cookies for that. Right? Yeah, because you got leftover. Because you have leftover cookies. What like am I when going we to started do? on keto and we would eat a lot of ricotta, you can make ricotta cookies. It's turning as we speak. Yeah. Defense was said, I've never made the cold start yogurt before, only the traditional. I bought a couple of things at Fair Life back in July. Thank God for the longer shelf life of them. I'll get to it eventually, I hope. It does have a very nice long shelf life. Yeah. I have one in there we bought like a month ago and I think I've still got three weeks left. I remember like when we would go to Aldi, they had the worst, like their clear bottle of milk. It was like turning as you're at the checkout. Yeah. Uh, Mike said, I finally bought a Blackstone last week. I've only used it once so far, but I just stocked up on bacon. That not that a great excuse? I'm sorry, but I need to purchase more bacon. It's for my Blackstone. It's like the, when um, John Paul was using his Blackstone and was like, I need to buy more bacon because I'm seasoning it. More bacon. Miriam said, time out for you and Steve, Joe. Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> Thank you. Like, and she has like a beautiful mom face, right? Like that mom I like, knock knock it off like it, but it's beautiful like just right through her glasses those beautiful eyes but it's just like okay enough like stop it joe uh and Jeannie said you kids are so silly i just turned 75 and it's an exciting time of life wouldn't go back for wouldn't anything go back. i mean we've talked about that before like would you go back to like 18 or 21 no not on your life yes would i go back there blue dove said i was taken by that craft avocado mayo too i think a lot of people are because yeah. It's like a big honking avocado on the front. So why wouldn't I think right. that there's avocado Which again in this? Is, that's why we did the review on, on that garbage the other day. Because somebody new, especially somebody new, or somebody who only has ever been told better. like, hey, you should just do net carbs and don't worry about everything else. Yeah. And they're going to pick that up. And like Rachel said, they're going to eat the entire bag in a sitting going, I only had 660 calories and I only had six net carbs. So why am I not losing any weight? But why am I on the bathroom all day? Well, there's a sweet girl. And we want to stop that. That is We want to protect you. That's a friend of mine in church. She's like in her early 20s and she is not on keto, but she's been watching our, our videos. And so she said, she sent me a text last night and she goes, I got these fancy schmancy protein bars and they've got maltitol in it. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was just doing better on my way of eating that it's like, hey, they were sugar free. And she's been doing like 75 hard and her thing was like to cut out sugar. Mm -hmm. So she was like, but she's not so concerned about grains because she's just not, she's not doing keto. But like, but so she was like, just sugar. I thought, okay, I'm doing better. Right. So she's like, I'm paying my hard earned money for this fancy pants protein bar mm -hmm. and it's got melatonin. And I'm thinking to myself, am I just having an but adverse- it's not the first ingredient. At, at least it's not the first ingredient, but it's still like, am I having some bathroom issues? Is it because like I need more sugar? But it's like, no, it's the mouth of thought. Right. Uh, Joy said, learning about keto is a process. You have to be patient with yourself and others. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. yes. Uh, Joe says that we shouldn't have with a class action lawsuit. They need to knock their stuff off. Becky said, when the kids are crying from tummy pain, you just want to take the pain you from do. them. You do. You uh, do. Let's see. I'm trying to get to the end here because we've been on for an hour and a half. Oh, I've such a good time. Older Pennsylvania said shipped here was really good. They text you if something is out of sock and give you choices on substitutes. Nice. If they mess up, they credit you. Wow. Well, that's what happened was when they did it and she's like, well, you're going to have to contact. I'm like, but I'm picking it up from you. She's like, yeah, but everything goes through Instacart. If I would have known it was Instacart, I wouldn't have done it. Right. And, but yeah, and they didn't text me that they were making the change. Every, but every, like, 
every person has a different story yep. and like it's different in different places. Yep. Carla said, I'm so frustrated I can't get over a stall. I went off keto and ate tons of junk. I was eating keto, but at night I was going on binges. Did that for about four months and I went from 150 to 169. Today's a new day. Start over. You got take this. Take your time. Don't beat yourself up. No. Try to stick with it. It's like what we were talking about the other day. Like figure out what is it that's causing you to binge? What is it that causes it? Is it family issues? Is it what? That's the key. Work. Figure out what is it that's causing you to go off. If it's just oh. because, like I said, you're driving past a bakery, like go get yourself some keto friendly things and say, I can have one of these instead yeah. of having that. Or if it's maybe it's something stressful at home, maybe it's your kids, something like that. And that's stressful. Find something else to do. Maybe go work out. Maybe go read a book. Go sit in a bathtub. Because again, like no kidding, I felt like crying when we were trying those those Reese cups because I was like, I had forgotten how much how much I tried to solve with this food. And no matter what, mm. you can't you you're not gonna you're not gonna solve your stress with steak even. Yeah. Like you're not gonna solve I don't solve like stress at work with bacon. I love bacon. It's better to eat bacon than the other things that I was trying to solve problems with, but it's still not going to solve problems. Right. Like it's just like Kim said today, even when you lose weight and you're thinking in your, your mind, I've been so heavy for so long that like life will be better when I'm in a smaller size. You're still going to have struggles in life. And we what have was to the other find, thing she said your kids are still going to be misbehaved when you're skinny. That was very upsetting to hear. Like, cause I thought that it would magically be better when I'm, I'm less on the scale, but like, it's good to know that. So then we can reach for other things. Yeah. See, here, yeah, Renee actually said, don't beat yourself up, Carla. We are here for you and none of us are perfect. We have lots of stress and pat yourself on the back for even being here. That yes. I love you, Renee, because that's totally true. Mike said, when Whole Foods substitutes badly, I just chat with them and they get a full refund. So I get the item for free. Yes, nice. I've had that as well. I've never had an issue with Whole Foods. You know, I know Whole Foods, bad for small business and things like that. But they're got pretty good customer service. Yeah, I not, give them that. Not keto child level. Not ke nobody's keto. Nobody's keto No one's keto child level. Keto child level. Blaine said, all this talk forced me to go to the kitchen and make a small batch of poppers. 300 uh, degrees for 26 minutes. Well, I hope you enjoy them. And don't, don't like touch your eyes, Blaine. Seriously, <laughs> wash your hands. Cause like I have ruined several nights. Um, yeah, older Pennsylvania said delivery is free for anything over $35, which is not a I was going to try. It doesn't, I just find something else. There's always something else I can find. There's, it's, there's no problem. I mean, I can spend $35 in Aldi. Yeah. Like it goes quick. Um, Mike said, I don't like Instacart much because everything costs much more than buying direct. It's a convenient occasionally. Yeah. Yes. I'm the same way. They, they add the sale. You don't get the same sales or anything like that. But sometimes like if we're like, I would like our food to meet us at the door coming home from like a late day at work, yep. then it's, it's. I appreciate it. Joy said, one way that helps me keep from late night eating is going to bed before I get super tired and I lose my willpower. You know, you are right because when I am sleepy, then then I'm not even trying to negotiate. I'm just like, let it happen, right? Because yeah. you're tired. Uh, oh, this is good. Rankin Cook said, one trick I have for, eat, not for eating after dinner is go in and brush my teeth because then everything yes. tastes like garbage. Oh my gosh. That is so, awesome. That is such a good, good tip because yes, if I brush my teeth, like we're done Yeah. because I can't, it's not just orange juice that would make it taste like nasty, but like, any, but anything, Yeah. anything after like brushing my teeth. Yep. Okay. We're going to get off because we haven't eaten yet except for three jalapeno love. peppers. And All you need is I love. definitely want to go eat because we have an awesome dinner and we can't tell you what it is because it's in a vlog. So you're gonna have to wait for the vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell button. Something is awesome tomorrow, but you're gonna have to hit the bell button to find out what it is. It's gonna be fun. Also, if you haven't done so, go over to the three keto child bundle so recipe of button boxes and enter into that giveaway. You only get one entry for each one. But you do get but, an entry for each one. Yeah, I was going to say, not one entry across. Like, I got to put all my eggs in the elite basket because right. I don't want to. Oh, here's here comes Charity. Yep. She's like, hello. Everybody, we hope you have a great night and we love you. Bye.